Hi, this is Patty Butcher, Katie Did's Quilting Studio. Um, I have been an IQ dealer probably since about 2009. Been been around for quite a while. Um, I wanted to create a little video today to talk about um, removing the motors. If you ever need to send your motors in for repair or you're moving your machine, or even just to change your drive wheels or to put new belts on. Um, there's an easy way to remove the motors without having to mess <laughs> with your adjustment brackets. That way, once you, you know, get your repaired motor or you have your new drive wheels on, you can easily reinstall it and without having to readjust the adjusting brackets and then go through the drift tests and all of that. So I'm working on my Y motor right here which is attached to the front axle of my my 19 APQS Millie. So I am going to remove, I'm going to start out trying to keep my hands out of the way from the camera. I'm going to start out with removing my three screws on my cover. And once I have those all removed, I like to pull the cover off, flip it upside down, and place my screws inside. That way they don't get lost. And then set that aside on the frame. Now, as you see, your wiring harness comes up and it should be tied to one of the screw holders with a little zip tie. So I pull that off and then I'm gonna come to the red and white clamp that is my connection between my um, wiring harness and my motor. And I just gently wiggle and walk it off. And then you can just set it aside. So as you can see right here, there are two large screws that have a hex, an Allen key head on them. And that is where you can remove the motor from the bracket without having to adjust the bracket. I have inserted a photo here of the motor, a close-up, and I'm showing the two bolts that you should be removing the motor block from the mounting bracket at. The motors mount to the bracket in the same fashion, no matter what style of bracket you have, no matter what machine make, model, vintage, none of that matters, X or Y, they all mount to the brackets with these two bolts in the motor block. So it takes a 532nd Allen key, and I like to do the individual um, keys when I'm working this close to the machine head, because that way it doesn't get, you know, it doesn't bump the machine or get in my way. So right here is your sensor wheel and it's, it's spring loaded and I like to just push up on it to take the pressure off the motor as I am unscrewing the bolts. There's also, when you receive your IQ, there is also a little picture hanger hook in your kit which you can put right under that and that takes the place of holding that sensor wheel up for you. Um, it just frees up one of your hands. I didn't have mine handy at the moment, so I didn't use it. But I loosened the two bolts enough that now the motor will just come up off of the bracket and I could take those two bolts out. Now you see here is the mounting plate that the motor goes onto. So that's a quick and easy way to remove the motor to do you know, change your drive wheels, to change your belt, or to ship it back if you need to for any reason for service. But if you do not mess with the adjustment bracket, then when it's all repaired or new drive wheels, whatever the case may be, you can then just line it back up. And again, I'm holding that sensor wheel up. Or if I have my little picture hanger hook, I would use that 
under that little screw right here to hold the sensor wheel up, take the pressure off of the motor as I am screwing the motor back down onto the bracket. Make sure you're getting it very tight because of course these motors are what pushes and pulls the machine and if it's not on there properly you will get slop and, and not a good stitch out. So once I have everything mounted again firmly I would then get my wire go ahead and make sure I am lined up here the red part of the clamp is lined up with the posts and I'm going to make sure it's lined up and then I can gently push it down wiggling it to make sure it's it's on properly make sure it's seated firmly and then I can take my zip tie and wrap it back around the screw post this just kind of helps um, if you accidentally pull on the moat the wires or anything this just gives it an extra support so it's not pulling on that clamp so if I pull on my wire here, it's going to stop it here and not mess with my clamp or my connection here at all. So at that point, once I've got the motor reinstalled, I can just line up my cover, line up my screw holes, and put my screws in again. So hopefully this will help you guys to understand how to get your motors on and off easily without messing with your adjustment brackets. You don't need to, to, to remove your adjustment brackets if you have to have any work done on your machine or um, send your motors in. They don't need that. He just needs the motor itself. And it's an easy way. Now I don't even have to readjust my adjusting bracket, brackets or go through the drift test because I did not alter those in any way. I wanted to add one more thing to the video um, about sending your motors in for repair. If you do need to send your motors in for repair, it is requested that you send them in in a certain way. And by that, what I mean is these Allen screws, the bolts that attach the motor to the adjusting bracket, you want to keep those with your machine. You don't need to send those back in. So just take them so they don't get lost. Just take them and screw them back into the motor mounting plate. The other thing that is requested is you do put the cover back on and return it with the plastic cover on. That way it will help to protect the motors during shipping. You also want to wrap each motor individually into bubble wrap or some batting, something to protect them during the shipping process. So make sure you keep your, your bolts, your motor mounting bolts, keep those with your machine so they don't get lost, but do put the plastic cover back on in order to ship. That will just protect all the circuit boards and all the components on the motor during shipping process. Thank you.